Hey, what is up guys? It's Mark Yoon, and today I'm bringing you another exciting video, hopefully at least. Um, so what we're going to do today is we are going to look at the facts that we have been given so far about the prior releases of the uh, Soul Calibur franchise, like when they were released, um, what time periods, what quarters, and we're going to surmise if we can try and come up with some kind of uh, potential official release date for, um, for Soul Calibur VI. Uh, we have a lot of uh, information that lends credit to this. So we should be able to fairly surmise like between two different choices that I've come down to of like when the game is probably most likely going to come out. Uh, as always, I live in New York, so if you hear noises outside, I'm really sorry. Um, let's jump right into this though, guys. Now, I want to give a little bit of credit because I got the idea for this video from uh, a Redditor named uh, Fred Fuchs. I'll put his stuff on the, on the screen. Um, I don't agree with everything that he said, but we'll go over his uh, his Reddit post just so you can know where I was coming from when I started making this video. So he goes on to say, this is him, not me. I predict it will be released in late July, early August, within a week of July 30th in either direction. Soul Calibur's original arcade release date was July 28th, 1998, while Soul Calibur 4, the supposed final game in the series, was released July 29th to August 1st, 2008, depending on the region. Ten years later, they continually state how the game is in its celebration period as the series' 20th uh, anniversary. I think it will release around this date. So that last part is what made me actually get thinking about this video. Um, so I did some research and I came up uh, with a bunch of the releases. The only thing I don't agree with his is he said in August, um, he said early July, like a late July, early August release. Now. Spoiler alert, that's actually one of my predictions for the two, but we got to go back to when Soul Calibur started, and he's going back from Soul Calibur 1, because Soul Calibur 1, we'll get to that, but Soul, Cal Soul Edge, which was the first Soul Calibur game, um, it was actually released in December of 1995 in the arcades, um, but it wasn't released for the consoles until December 20th in Japan, 1996. January 1997 in North America and May in Europe. So the, the dates to look at to this, no offense uh, EU period people, but um, I'm going to go by the JP and the North America dates because those are usually the earliest and that's usually when they release first. I haven't seen one that actually released in the EU first, probably just because of shipping and stuff like that. Alright, so moving on we have Soul Calibur 1. Soul Calibur 1's release in the arcade was July 30th, 1998. Its release on Dreamcast in Japan was August 5th, 1999. It was released in North America in September, and it was released in Europe in December. Um, so we can see there, I'm going to go pretty much not by the arcades. The arcades, the arcade release, December 1995, I think is specific because that would be the, uh, the, the 20th anniversary, um, if I'm not mistaken. So, uh, we're going to look at that and keep that in the back of our minds while we move forward with this. But we're going to look at the release dates um, from Japan and North America. And this is August to September, pretty much. So, Soul Calibur 2 was uh, released for GameCube, PlayStation 2, and Xbox in Japan uh, uh, March 27, 2003. It was released in North America on August 27, 2003. So here uh, we have another August release date for North America. So this is kind of coinciding with that early July, late August, because so far we have two August releases. Um, Soul Calibur 3, on the other hand, was actually the first Soul Calibur game to be uh, put produced in North America first. So it was released in North America on October 25th, 2005 on the PlayStation 2 because it was exclusive. And it was actually released in November and November 18th and 23rd, respectively, in Europe and Japan. And it was actually the first Soul Calibur to be released in the arcades last in 2006. So now we have in October, which is still a last quarter, a quarter four release. Um, and Soul Calibur 4 also released in North America first on July 29th. And then it released just a few days later in Japan on July 31st. 
So we have another like July, late August release there. Soul Calibur V, on the other hand, released in North America as well first, and it released on January 31st of 2012. And then it didn't release until another few days later in Japan on February 2nd, and respectively in Europe, February 3rd. Um, so, I'm going to get into why I don't think it is my first guess, and why I don't think it is, uh, why I think it's the second guess. But my approximation, my guess, at, if you want to really know, um, my first option that I'm going with is either a late July, early August, like the Redditor said, just going based on by their previous uh, release schedules. Um, they were releasing it in Japan earlier, up until Soul Calibur 3, but then after, um, after Soul Calibur 3, it started getting released like the same quarter, but for North America first. Uh, my second guesstimation is going to be December. Uh, December is when I'm more strongly going for, and I have a few reasons for that, but uh, we'll get into that. But I'm, I'm going to guess that we're going to get it in September. It may be the beginning of September. I don't think they're going to hold it off to the end of, at, end of December. Did I say September? I'm sorry. December. Um, but let's get into the reasons why. Now, we know that like E3 is going to be a big deal for Soul Calibur. We're going to have a lot of news released, probably a couple new trailers, maybe another character or so. And that's where I'm going to guess that we're going to actually get the official release date is probably going to be on E3. Now, if you guys don't know, E3 is held from June 12th to June 14th this year. So, this, to me, kind of defeats the, um, the July-August release. Now, I'm not saying there's not going to be a July-August release, but I'm just more leaning towards the December, only because um, to build up the hype... Now, there's a couple reasons why it shouldn't and shouldn't, but let's get into this first. My, stay on my train of thought. So, in the middle of June, E3 is going to probably announce the release date. I don't see in them uh, saying, like, listen, the game's coming out next month. Like, get ready. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I think we're going to get trailers, they're going to build hype, and I think we may get a demo. Probably a demo of, like, maybe the, the character creator, or just, like, a demo that was the first beta, or the final beta, excuse me. <clears throat> Freaking cat hair everywhere. Um, so yeah, I think they're going to actually release a, a, a release date for a demo probably in July. So I think July we're going to get a demo for the game and they're going to start like really heavily marketing and going into pre-orders and at that point we're going to know pretty much every character that's in the game, the full roster after E3, so we might get a final build for the demo. And uh, I think that'll really be like a, a good move for them to make and then release the game in December and they can release the game coinciding with their 20th anniversary which if you're going by Soul Edge was in December um, of 1995 so um, the reason that like I I'm not sure about the December one is because if they're going by like Soul Edge is the first Soul Calibur game let's not get it twisted but if they're saying 2018 Soul Calibur 1 was released July 30th of 1998, so that would be 20 years ago today. So they may actually be going by Soul Calibur 1 and not by Soul Edge. So that may actually... I don't know, man. Maybe they will release it at the end of July. There's another reason why releasing at the end of July would be a, a good bet for them, or like early August. And that is Black Friday, which if you guys don't know, if you've worked in retail before, uh, Black Friday is the day after Thanksgiving. It's the biggest shopping holiday of the year. Um, that's when most, they call it Black Friday because when you're in the red, that means that like your company's losing money. When you're in the black, it means it's actually profiting. And they call it Black Friday because that's the one day out of the year where like they can, they can have a, an entire black like quarter just based on that one day, that one shopping season, if you will. So releasing Soul Calibur after November, like in December would kind of, uh, I wouldn't say hurt their sales, because it's definitely going to sell well. I wouldn't say it would hurt their sales. I'd just say it would be more beneficial to the retailers they're partnering with, unless they just want to go full digital, which I don't think they are, to release it uh, a little bit prior to that. So the, the July thing, it seems, it seems feasible. Um, I don't know what you, which you guys prefer. Like I've listed my reasons for which, which reasons I think they're going to be for both, but I I don't know, I'm kind of convincing myself now that it's going to be July 30th and not December. 
Either way, I'm going to say er, late July, early August, or December. But I, I kind of am leaning more towards July now, which would be awesome for me because my birthday is late July. So, I mean, I don't have anyone that really gives me gifts anymore, but like, I'll get it for myself for a gift. Um, it, would, it would really be nice for me. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Like, do you have any guesses as to when you think it's going to come out? Like, what are your, your uh, hypotheses based on its release date or what the schedule following this point is going to be? Um, let's always start a discussion like we've been doing in the past. The comment sections have been really great on my videos as of late, and I really like you guys' feedback, and I really uh, enjoy talking to you guys about these things. Uh, what do you think I should cover next in my next video? And if, is there anything else you guys want to see? Let me know. Uh, obviously, in the comment section below. Follow me on my social media if you feel like it. And, um, you know, as I always say, guys, stay powered up.